system. So after we upload our functions list, we want to go back to our forum.php file. And I'm actually going to take this content here. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it inside of an echo here. Right there. And I'm going to indent it. So we have our actually gonna be two separate echoes. Okay, so we have this stuff here. After we have these two echoes, we need to call our start function, or our, our two forum functions rather, sorry. So we have start underscore forum. Make sure you have the parentheses there or, you, or um, errors will be returned. And then after it, we're gonna have our end forum. Get rid of this extra space here. And I'm putting a comment saying end forum. There's no I in forum. And I'm going to put in comment here saying start forum. Um, and that's just for me. Um, so inside of here, we're going to change this name to say dollar sign forum underscore name. And I'm going to comment out that right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the forum file. And after we upload that, if we go to our forum index page, if we refresh, you can see we have these two boxes right here. Um, they're really squished together, which we're going to fix that in a moment. And we have uh, just saying content within it. So um, what we're going to do first is we're going to apply some styles um, within this our forum.php file itself. So, yeah. So in our forum name area, we're going to apply a style. We're going to say color, and we're going to say pound or hash, whatever country you're in, FFF. So that's going to make it white. And then after that, we're going to say padding, tack left, and we'll say 10 pixels, and padding, tack bottom and we'll say let's go with five pixels for now so yeah that'll work so I'm gonna upload that so if we refresh we now have our text is white and it's pushed over making, giving it some nice spacing here uh, now you might be thinking oh why would you only put padding on the left on the left side instead of the right side and that's because we're never gonna have that much text in here that'll go all the way over here um, because these are just general category type things, so we're never going to have that much text in there. So what we're going to do is, in our end forum function, I'm actually going to apply a little bit of CSS here. Um, let's see. Actually, no, not in the function, sorry. In here, where we have this right here, I'm going to say... Or no, not that. Um, um, actually, yeah, we want the function... Uh, functions.php file. So we have this, this start div right here. We're going to put a style on it and we're going to say margin tack bottom and oops, that needs to be a semicolon or a colon. And we're going to say 20 pixels should be good. And we're going to upload our functions file. So after we upload our functions file, if we refresh the page, you can see it just kicks it down, um, giving it some nice spacing right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in a border on in this area right here where we're going to have our content. So it'll kind of make it an enclosed box. So, yeah. So where we have in our form.php file, we have our content here. I'm going to put this here, making it so these are different echo statements. Um, and the reason being is because we're going to reconnect to our data, or not, we're not going to reconnect. We're going to run another query in our database, um, making it so we can get all of our categories, which we haven't set up yet. Um, we're going to make it so we can get all of our categories. Um, so yeah, so right here we're going to say order, tack, left, and we'll say mm, maybe three pixels might not be uh, enough. So we're going to say 3 pixel solid 
and we'll say pound or hash um, zero zero zero, and that's because I don't remember what the color is for these uh, for these boxes. Um, so we're going to upload our forum file. So after we upload the forum file, if we refresh, you see we now have this border here, um, three pixel border. And I'm thinking three pixels probably good. We might uh, bump it up to four. Actually, yeah, let's bump it up to four. So a four pixel. We'll upload. And we will refresh. So we now have a four pixel border there. So it kind of just gives it um, some spacing, essentially. So makes it look, look nice. Um, now we need to apply the same style on the other side. So we will put a semicolon there. We'll say border tack right. And in here we will say four pixel solid and hash zero zero zero. And again, we're choosing black because I don't remember the color. So if we then refresh, we now have our border over there, giving us a nice closed-in box. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add that color, and it's 414141. And after we do that, we can re-upload the uh, PHP file and refresh. Oh, I'm still uploading. So there we go. So we now have our nice little closed-in box with everything um, the correct colors. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our categories database. Um, and yeah, so we're going to set up our categories database. So we're going to go to our index here of our database, create a new one, forum underscore categories. And if we look back at the forum.txt file I have, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, sorry. It's 14. And I actually want to add another one in, I'm going to call it image. And the reason being is because if you go to most forums, there's usually an image right next to the category. Um, so I'm going to make it so you can have your own images. And eventually I will have um, some images for this forum. I'll go ahead and make this sometime, and um, you can use them on your own form if you'd like. So, we are going to create 15, hit enter, and we have this. Okay, so the first one we have is our ID, and this is uh, unique to every single category we have. And I'm going to set this to a medium int, um, because you may have a lot of categories, um, so we'll set it to medium ints because I don't need to save space on my server. Um, the next one we have is a forum underscore ID. Might help if I spelled forum right. Um, so our forum ID and our forum title are going to be set for whichever whichever forum. Actually, we don't need both of them. We only need one, so we'll go with forum ID. Um, and we'll just delete the forum name later. So just for now, I'll just set that to one. So our forum ID is going to be an int because that is going to be the ID of the forum that each category is within. So we'll go ahead and just remove that. So we have our cat title. Essentially, that's our, our categories title, cat for short. Um, so I'm going to name it name or title. Eh. Actually, I'm just going to go with name to have everything flow along with each other. Um, so we have description. Um, so if you look at a forum, you have a category, and then beneath each category, it'll have some sort of short description, like, for example, a category named announcements. Below it, you would have something like stay up to date on the website or whatever. Um, so that's essentially what the description is. Then we have uh, last post. Um, and this is going to be set dynamically um, for when other users post or create topics. Um, so that'll be set there. 
Then we have last user to post. So that was the that'll be the username of the person who actually posted whatever. And we have the last time when they posted, we have the date that will be recorded. Um, and it's actually going to be date and time, but I'm just going to call it date. We're also going to have total topics. And I can't even spell it. There we go. So after total topics, we have total posts. And again, these are going to be dynamically set every time someone posts or, or whatever. Um, then we have who can view posts or who can post and who can, who can view posts. So essentially, who can post? Who can post is going to be, we'll probably name it something like user status or something. And that'll make it so you can have specific categories and forums and or forums um, where only admins can post things. For like examples, announcements. You only want admins and possibly moderators to be able to post things there. Um, and in various places like that where you only want certain users with certain rights to be able to post um, this, this certain things in, in various categories. So who can post, we'll call it user status. So user underscore status. And we have who can view. We will name this view underscore status. Um, so the view status and who can, who can view a post or a category, that's like making it so, for example, a guest account, so someone who's not logged in, you don't want them to be able to necessarily be able to view, um, I guess, premium content, you could call it. So maybe maybe certain links on posts, you don't want them to be able to view or, or whatever. You could easily change that value. So after that, we have our image. And that's it. So these ones are just empty ones because I miscounted. So we're going to delete these. So our image is going to be a var char of, just go with 50. So we'll have a bunch of things set. So our view status is going to be a var char of 50. User status will be a var char of 50. I'm actually going to change that from user status to post rights. Um, yeah. So that's going to be var char of 50. Total posts is going to be a big int. Total topics is going to be a big int. Um, last date will be a var char of was 75. Last user will be a var char 50 because that's the maximum length for usernames is 50 characters. Uh, the last post will be actually we're not even going to have that so we can just um, set this up as nothing. Our description will have as a var char of 150 characters and a name we will have a var char of 150 characters. So after all of this, assuming that I've changed this over here, yeah. So after all of that, we can go ahead and hit save. So it'll save our database. And if we click on structure, so we have all of this extra stuff we got to remove. So we need to remove forum name, last post, and these two at the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click drop here. Open link in a new tab. Yes. <clears throat> and then I'm also going to drop these ones at the bottom. Okay, so we now have our categories uh, database table set up. So we have just our, our various pieces of information here. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to insert some data into our categories table. So our forum ID that we're going to insert it into is our ID of one. So in this case, this is going to be inside of our general forum. Um, the category name will be announcements. The description will be keep up to date 
on the site. Uh, the last user will be, we'll leave that empty for now. Last date will be empty for now. Total topics will be zero. Total posts will be zero. Post rights will be admin. Um, uh, view rights will be guest. And image will be none, I guess. Um, or actually, we'll set this as default. So we can then scroll down, hit go, add it to the database. And if we click, uh, if we click browse, we now have uh, our, our first category created. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, in the next video, we will um, continue on with creating a forum.